So this video gives you a little additional information as far as installing an electric start kit on a Honda GX390. Uh, I've already done the installation, but I'll give you a few tips uh, if you're looking to do this. Uh, number one, there's, there's no hole in uh, the block for the starter right here. Um, you need to drill that out with a two and a half inch hole saw after you take off the, the flywheel cover, you gotta take the flywheel off. Uh, so you need to drill that out and then you need to also ream it out because that uh, pilot on the starter is like 2.55. So you need to use uh, like a some kind of flap disc or a carbide cutter uh, and an air tool and, and open that up so that the pilot fits. Um, and then also they give you a new flywheel and it's got magnets on the inside with a charging coil. To mount that charging coil, you're gonna to have to tap out the mounting holes with a six by one uh, millimeter tap. And also on this uh, mounting hole right here for this uh, control panel, you gotta drill and tap that as well. You do need to remove that old switch, this thing here it's gonna interfere and uh, those functions are taken care of by the control panel. So the most uh, unclear thing is, is the wiring, all right? And uh, so this wire here that says charge is coming from the charging coil under the flywheel. You hook that up to this brown wire that has this diode in it uh, that goes into the control panel. And then you need to maintain this module here, the low oil pressure module, low oil level module. Um, and this is here in case your oil pressure or your oil level goes down momentarily. It doesn't kill the engine every time. It's some kind of timer thing or something, but don't, don't get rid of that. Okay. And so, um, this is the wire from the engine goes to the coil and kills the engine when it shorts to ground and it can go to ground either through this black wire when you turn the switch off or through this yellow wire and back down to the low pressure switch if you lose uh, oil level, if you lose oil level, okay? And then uh, this red wire goes to the starting solenoid and then this black and white wire goes uh, to power the solenoid when you run the starter motor, okay? So, um, and then this, there's also this green and yellow wire that has to be grounded. So I, I believe that's all the wires. And then you're gonna need to uh, run the battery to this terminal here, and then a negative cable from the battery to ground somewhere on the engine. So anyway, hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.